them. Oh, All right. Fancy hey everyone, Wanderbot here, here and Earth. welcome to uh, Horizon Zero Dawn, The Frozen Wilds. I'm not actually there yet. Or I guess welcome welcome to it, welcome back to it if you saw this series earlier. Oh, hey. There's a supply crate here. I'll take it. I am very wealthy. I forgot about that. I've forgotten a lot of things. When this game came out originally, I want to say it was like... Oh, jeez. Was it, uh... Was it back in, like, February? It was, like, the same time as, uh, Legend of Zelda. Now, uh, this is kind of gonna be treated as a separate series, because it's, like, the expansion. I don't really know. I'll tack it onto the playlist, but this is truly kind of a fresh start. Because I remember barely anything about this game. Uh, okay, you can buy a golden sleeping bag. I'll have to look into that then. Anyway, uh, the one other change here is giving me a weird look. What's up? It's just, you kept barreling on. Yeah, well, happens. Um, so, uh, over the course of the entire main series, the, the main part of Horizon Zero Dawn, Shell was sitting behind me or next to me watching the entire series and more or less like she looked like she was ready to talk at any moment, but she didn't have a mic in front of her. Well, and you didn't have me participating. Yeah, at that point it was, uh, it was a little bit too late. Um... Because, uh... I, this is a long loading screen. It's a big game. And we're right next to the DLC area, so it's probably trying to preload that. Which always takes a little while. But yeah, so Shell was watching me, uh, more or less play this game the entire way through, including most of the story and plot. I think she missed, like, a point or two. But that was about it. Wait, can I travel to the Grave Horde? No, I can't. Okay. Uh, let's see. I don't remember how to play very well. Uh, so pretty much she's been introduced to it, but also a number of people were like, you should have Shell join us for this. And I was like, all right, fine, whatever. Now, what do you think is the objective for Aloy and her people? Well, I mean, at this point, they've taken out Hades. Everything for them, it should be like fine and dandy, which begs the question, what's this? I don't know. I haven't seen any trailers for this. Um, and there's no like cutscene or There's tentacles. Introduction. Yeah, so that was one of those uh, destroyer machines okay. that worked under Hades. It was one of the dungeons where they had all the plot stuff. I don't remember which one it was. Oh. My shields have been changed. Make sure you adjust. And yes, I know Hades isn't gone yet. What's-his-face walked off with him. I don't remember what's-his-face's oh, name. Oh, you mean the guy that also had the same uh, fixture on their ear like you? Yeah. Um, he was trying to guide you. It well, seems. yeah, he was. He was. Was he one of those these villains? Look like the nuke markings. Oh. Is this the way to their territory? So I guess we're going up to the Banuke. I'm gonna see if I can turn up the change the audio settings. There we go. Was he one of those villains that at least introduces themselves as though they're benevolent? He's and not a villain ally? yet. Okay. Oh. Oh. Check my quest. So this is pre-final battle. Really? Yeah, Looming Shadow, go to the Palace of the Sun. So uh, this is actually sort of an expansion, but I guess it takes place beforehand? That's confusing. Is this one of those things where they don't want you to continue with the plot post-Hades, so they added something extra to I guess? Oh. Uh... I don't know. I'm, I, I am just about as confused as you are. But you were the person to ask the right questions on this. So let's just quick save. And then go from there. Uh, so do we... Oh, yep. <laughs> Those are pretty... Whatever beacons. Whatever they are. Okay. Yeah, they're all glowy. But yeah, so... Uh, the kind of assistant character... He was... I don't know if he was evil. What was that on the ground? Uh, it's a rock. There's a lot of, like, crafting components you can find oh. all over the place. <laughs> okay, I thought they were clues, because doesn't, doesn't she... You don't look like you know this, Path oh. Hunter. We will deal with her in a second. But first, we must loot everything. Yeah, if you notice, health potion. This is just going to be random. Random junk. Don't worry about it too much. There's nothing... There are special stuff in this game, but uh, most of it you find in, like, rare caches at She's the end. She's rather tall. Who, or... Aloy or this lady? This lady. Yeah, well, Aloy is, like, a teen. Seems you're a long way from anything. 
Where does this trail lead? For me, it leads south. Away from the Banuk. Past the Grave Horde. Banukai, watch over me. This is the quickest way out of the cut, instead of going all the way through Osteram territory. And take it from me. You want a quick way out of the cut. I haven't even arrived yet. Why would I want to leave? Strange machine attacks? A curse on the mountain? It's enough to make me look forward to Meridian. You're going to Meridian? Yes. I was named an envoy to the Karja King's court. No one else wanted to do it. It's not so bad. I just recount the songs from Ban Or, and the Karja draw their funny little glyphs. I tell them of the machine's growing anger, and the Karja King still offers aid, even though he knows the Banuk will not accept it. What kind of strange machines? And what kind of curse? Machines tougher and crazier than anything in the South, I heard. And smoke comes off the mountain like a funeral pyre all day and night. But like I said, I just pass through now. Is that where they construct the machines, you think? Um, well, the machines are are created in dungeons. That right, I, I saw into. you go into one, but... Yeah, I don't know. A persistent flame? What sort of place is the cut? It's on the edge of everywhere. The edge of Ban Or, the edge of the mountains, the edge of other tribes' territories. It's suffered in the war with the Karja. But it suffered before that, too. Life there is a test to survive out on the edge. Not exactly homey. I can see why you'd want to move on. <laughs> Home is what you carry in a roll on your back. Well, thanks for the warning. I'm curious about these machines, though. And the warning rolled off you. I understand you adventurers are all alike. Good luck. This is a very pretty game. Mm -hmm. Uh, now how do we get up here? Okay, Into the Frozen Wilds, level 30. It, it sort of looks like a, a similar dialogue system oh, as to what you would find in a Bioware game, but the animations and the characters are so much better looking. Well, yeah, it's because every, I believe everything is like lip synced specifically. Like this is, this is the difference between Bioware and, you know, kind of the radiant animation system and somebody that actually went through and not hand animated everything, but actually like went through and well, you know, these did people it they had gestures like they were shrugging and tilting their heads, and they they do that in Bioware games, but it, it seems pre generated and uh, I don't know. Yeah, uh, thing is, this game originally had some like kind of iffy cutscenes in animation. Uh, originally, what are you doing, Eloy? This path leads to the cut. The Banuk have nothing to offer besides useless mysticism. The Eclipse won't stand idle while you waste time playing in the snow. Return to your desk. So, silence. Surprised you're still checking up on me. I thought you had moved on. Well, forgive me for still being concerned with the fate of the world. I was thinking. Rost used to tell me stories about the Banuk and their shamans, and how they thread blue cables through their skin. Kind of like someone else we know, huh? So maybe the real reason you want me to stay clear of the Banuk is to stay clear of your past. It's not the past that concerns me, Eloy. It's the future, or possible lack thereof. Which is why you should stop <laughs> prattling and get back to what matters. But as usual, you'll do as you wish. Hmm. Touchy. Okay, I don't remember the button for sneaking. Ah, his voice sounds familiar. Um, he is... Oh, I remember his... His name, he is, he is famous. What is the button for sneak? Ah, square. Your there phone we go. is so glitchy. I, it desperately needs to be replaced at this point. However, uh, it's like a hundred bucks. I'll wait until it truly dies or something. I don't know. Oh, it's Zavala, who is also, he's a famous actor. But yeah, he's the same actor uh, as Zavala from Destiny. Who we've interacted with Yeah, recently. yeah, and I keep thinking it's Keith David, but I'm pretty sure it isn't also. A new Why are you on Reddit? I can't get out of it. Coming off it. Well, not important right now. I want to find the actor's not name. Not import important right now. Oh, well, that's because you're fighting a giant mechanical beast. Oh, I do not have... Oh. Hmm. Okay. 
Let me see. Hard point arrow. Huh. This guy is scary. You finding anything or? Lance Reddick. <gasps> what? That's his name? Yeah. Interesting. Okay. At this point, this at this point, I've heard him several times in various games, but I always what? confuse him for Keith David. <laughs> and what else has he been in? Oh, uh, let's see. This guy is beefy. He was in Lost, apparently. He's he was been... in Lost. Yeah. <laughs> he was in Quantum Break. Horizon Zero Dawn, Zavala, and Destiny. Uh, that's all that they really have listed for him when it comes to games, at least on his wiki page. Probably would find more on IMDB. Okay. Oh, John Wick! Right! Um, that was that was the one uh, that had been mentioned that I recognized him as. Other than Zavala from, uh... Shoot. Those are expensive. Ow. <laughs> It's probably hard to jump back into a game that it is. It's you very hard, and this is not. Um, it's probably why we haven't been able to finish Pyre after all these ah! weeks, months. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's it's true of a lot of things. You would get anxious before every episode, though. So. Yeah. It was tough. Did I hit it? So these, the strategy is you're supposed to take out those tanks. No. Uh, yes and no. He does have weak points on his back that I could be hitting. He has a shit ton of HP. There we go. Yep. Yeah, those tanks are uh, considered weak points. Looks They're like hard a jackal to hit, though. Or a hound. Hmm. And he has a lot of fire, which I used a lot ah. of fire. Okay, L3. Right. There we go. Yeah, I have some kind of slow oh, mo. Oh, the slow mo mo. Yeah. Unfortunately, it's. Ow. Ah! That. This thing is. That's because ah! it sends waves of fire. Ah! Ow. And actually taking damage here. Yeah, waves of fire and. Waves of fire and very painful. I'm letting my shields come back if I can, but it's not working so Did hot. Did you always have shields in the game, or is it just because of this generator? Uh, you got the special armor. Yeah, so I got the the special ultra rare armor that you get towards the uh, towards the end of the game. You pretty much spend the entire series. You spend the entire series. Uh, Trying to, oh, I'm almost out of it. Arrows here. I wish here. she had more growls or barks or sound effects. Yeah, just that. Again and again. It's it's yeah. Yeah, I don't know. It's a bit of a repetitive noise. I this is like an ultra tough version of it. I'm sure I'm gonna get some better weapons as I go along the way here. I rolled. Okay, got it. I always love doing that in Jedi Knight Jedi Academy, the, uh, force speed. Oh, to slow everything down? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I actually had a certain combo for Got lightsabers it. that oh, took everything out. Oh, and it just gives me blaze. Well, that's not so cool. Hopefully we get some better weapons once we get into this. This thing was, uh, hard. Wow. I gotta go make some arrows. And other stuff. Okay, but yeah, so this guy, uh, uh, Silence was also the, uh, the, the manager at the hotel, was it? Oh, I remember him. In John Wick. That was the one. Okay. So he was also boil, broils on Fringe. We I, never actually watched I Fringe. Seen Fringe. Yeah. I had friends that were very into Fringe, but I, I, on the other hand, it never seemed particularly... It never seemed particularly interesting to me. Okay. Oh, I gotta go make some arrows. Hunter bow, hunter arrow, hard hard point arrows. 
Oh, good. I can make a whole so, bunch of these. She implied that this tribe that she's going to visit, or at least their lands, is potentially the ancestral home of Silence, right? Yeah, where he's from as well. Why would they insert wires into their skin? Is it to interface with something, or...? I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. Let me see. All right, well, I'm full up. Yeah, don't forget to use my focus. I was trying to use it there. This doesn't always work so hot. Do you think there will actually be a point in our future when people have cybernetic implants that are essentially not an extension of, say, our phones and whatnot, but oh, something similar? Yeah. Hmm. Uh, it would be weird if we didn't, honestly. Well, I, I just find it suspect because I wouldn't want something inside me that could potentially be hacked. Yeah, I mean, no, that is that is a scary thing. Security would be a problem. Uh, I'm going to turn this up a little bit. The sound effects are I know way that too low. One thing that's uh, prevented the... Like, complete acceptance of self-driving cars, which I know that you're a, a huge fan of, uh, is the fact that people could potentially hack and oh. redirect control the vehicles. This was actually where I needed to get up. It was not oh, obvious. Neat. Yeah, it was a little bit too high for me. But yeah, I, I can imagine a lot of people would get some kind of... Um, I mean, a, a little bit of an aside, but when a couple days ago, what was it, Crunchyroll was hacked? Oh, yeah. I mean, that's not exactly the most secure site ever. Oh, yeah, but it was up. it was uh, providing, like, EXE files to people, and they were getting ransom, whatever. Well, like. it, locks your, uh, it locks your hard drive up, and then is like, pay us, and we'll unlock your hard drive for you. I had only heard about it after the fact... But I fortunately we don't visit that site often enough anyway, if at all. That's that's a question. You did you watch me play Deus Ex, seeing as we're talking about cybernetic cybernetic enhancements? Oh yeah, and didn't we finish that one game together? Uh Deus Ex, the machine, something in the machine. Uh well there was human Outlander on the mountain! Okay, that's a welcome, I guess. We played Human Revolution together. Human Revolution, okay. Yeah, sort of. I just didn't remember if you were awake for it or not. I, I love that logo. It's very pretty. Wasn't wasn't the final decision a button press? Yeah, you had like three decisions and they were all stupid. Isn't that essentially what happened in Mass Effect 3 as well? Yeah. Oh, yeah. The... <laughs> you sure you'll be warm enough up here, Nora? I've worked up a sweat from the climb. The uh, 2000s... 2010, late 2000s to 2000, early 2010s, had a lot of those like button press ending A, B, or C, maybe, and it sucked. You made it to the cut, Outlander. Not that you'll stay long. Wow, they're frosty. This is Song's Edge, biggest settlement in the cut. <laughs> Hopefully, we get some warmer clothing so she's not going like. <laughs> Smoke rising from the mountain. And the village, too. What's it for? Well, that's a volcano. Mm-hmm. Okay. It could be something more. Could be. Probably not. How are we to trust the chieftain after so many died under his command? Mm. I love this game's use of color. Yeah, this is a very, what... Orange, red, and blue. Orange, red, and blue, yeah. Ray's been gone a and you get a lot of, like, gamut pinks. She will return. I must believe she will return. Trust Araya, they say. She'll return to us, they say. And yet here we are, waiting. These people seem kind of crabby. Has abandoned us. Well, I mean... The chieftain has led our best to the deaths. Where should we find if you live in a frigid climate where everything's hostile towards you and May you're losing faith in your chieftain because what there was a battle or something went amiss, people went missing. Yeah. That's what I'm getting from the dialogue. 
Yeah. Looks like you could actually speak to that villager back there. Must be something big going on. Most of the village is moving towards that smoke. If Aratak means to go back to the mountain, and I uh, stand with you. You'll just say, like, hello. Uh, people with names are the ones that you talk to, to generally. Death may rise up to meet you at any moment. Trust that our hunters knew this. Oh, so that's your saving point. The campfire. Looks like there's going to be a, a gathering. Yeah. Sometimes. Get ready for a rare sight, Nora. Bergrind, purveyor of necessities. Most of the time, the Banuk burn their dead. But not today. Because the bodies couldn't be recovered. Aye, a nasty business. All their best warriors lost. So they're getting a different kind of send off. Grasp your grief, my hunters, and kill it! For our kin seize the fate all Banuk long for, falling with their spears striking steel. Their struggle is over now. You have witnessed their spirits rise up into the blue sky and beyond to the blue light. But our struggle is only beginning. Soon, we will again take up the hunt against the daemon that frenzies the machines against us. And so I ask you, can you summon the courage of our fallen kin? Will you fight and die as well as they did? My courage, my spear. Blood is in your teeth, Oratok! We are Banuk. Our enemies. Our prey. The daemon. That frenzies the machines. Machines that wiped out their best. And what do they want to do? Go back up there. Fools. A little advice, uh, for free. Uh... Aloy. Aloy. I've been up here for two long winters, and I still can't make sense of the Banuk. Take this ruckus. It started with one of their shamans, uh, Aurea, spouting on about spirits and daemons up on Thunder's drum. So they march their Warwick up there, and half of them get slaughtered by machines. When Aria vanished, I thought the crazy might have gone with her. But no. Here's Big Aritok, gearing them up to do it all over again. What is it about the Banuk you can't make sense of? Mm. Well, everything's a test to them. A hardship to endure. A challenge to survive. Seems like they don't have much of a choice in a place like this. Yeah. A land cold enough to crack teeth. 
filled with wild animals. You'd think they'd accept a little reasonably priced aid. Well, believe me, I've tried to convince them, but a banook with nothing left to prove might just lie down and die. Have you ever heard of a man named Silence? Tall, deadly serious, cables in his skin? Like a shaman? Oh, I've heard that name once or twice, but always whispered. Like some boogeyman the Banook want to forget. I'm not sure what went down, but I got the impression he messed with the Conclave. Or they messed with him. Conclave? All the most important shamans gather in Banur from time to time to keep up with the latest mumbo-jumbo. No idea how they all fit into one tent without those crazy headdresses getting locked up on each other. Aurea's been to that shindig, but when I asked her what it's like, she just gave me a dirty look. So if you want to know more, you'll have to find her and make her like you, I guess. <laughs> Good luck. And Aurea is the one who spoke about this daemon? That's right. Told Aratak and the others that it lives up on Thunder's Drum. And they believed him. But you don't. <laughs> Look, I don't know what Aurea found up there. A shaman's not going to talk to an outlander. The machines in the cut are getting more vicious, that's a fact. It could be because of the daemon. Or it could be because they all got indigestion, for all I know. But Aurea's not around to explain. She took off, and no one knows why. His facial animations are really good. Like, this whole game has had good facial animation, but he has, like, some weird, like, mouth movie quirks, which I really like. I remember when the animation or the texturing came in during yeah. that scene. Yeah, no, it does have some rough edges, though. This is a smaller AAA studio. So, she was probably wrong to inquire about this, but the shaman's rituals are probably a secret. I wonder what they're getting their visions from. Maybe it's linked to whatever cords or cables that they have. Oh, yeah, maybe. Maybe they cook themselves up to some kind of artifact. Scary. Yeah, probably. Is Aratak a renowned warrior around here? He's a Warwick chieftain. His voice carries a lot of respect. Not that you hear much of it. Man talks about as much as a dead fish. But when he and Aurea came to town with their Warwick, it drew more Banuke to this little burg than I'd ever seen. Know what else I saw, Aloy? My own little trade route, stretching all the way back to the claim. Then he goes and leads them off to their death at the claws of angry machines. Uh, so much for my best customers. Do you think he's from the desert region? Yes. He's... I think so, yeah. It's interesting because the girl that was down the hill said that she was an envoy yeah. to them and that... They always offer their aid, but they're never supposed to accept it. So he's yeah. offering trade, but they never accept it. So why does he, he keep trying? He's trying to get him their good graces? I guess, yeah. Well, I mean, if he can if he can trade with these people, he's rich. What's a Warak? Yeah. What are these Wariks about, Burgrind? Some sort of tribe within the tribe? Eh, not like our clans back home. You don't get born into these things. They hold tryouts. Prove your best at something, and you might get a place. Some Warricks come and go. Some last as long as metal. The whole Banuk territory, Banur, is just a bunch of the biggest, oldest Warricks. I'm not sure if I'm less confused or more confused. <laughs> well, here's the sure thing. Each Warrick has a chieftain and a shaman. They make the decisions. All well and good, except the chieftains are hard-headed, and the shamans have their heads in the clouds. You said you've lived out here for two winters? Aye. Back home, some fur traders told me about this steel-forsaken heap of tents. Good location. Ripe for change. We were barely scraping by until this place started filling up for Aurea. A great prophet is coming, they said. Ah. <sighs> I heard profit. Honest mistake. Not that the Banook are stingy, they just prefer to keep trade among themselves. We could get through to enough of them. We could really put this place on the map. Or at least on a map. We? Me and my daughter. Mm, my assistant, Varja. 
my assistant and my daughter. We seem to get along better as business partners. Her mother wanted me to show her a trade. She started tinkering with weapons. Say, when you need a break from this Banuke carry-on, stop in and see her. You're both, uh, mm, how do I put it? Uh, Women? No, 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 I independent. Look for her at Long Notch, the easternmost Banuke camp. I want to know more about this Daemon. Mm -mm. It's crazy talk, Aloy. Or there's something to it. Something connected to how the machines behave. Then you need to find Aurea. She was last seen headed for the mountains they call the Ice Rafts. I've heard only the shamans know the trail beyond those frozen peaks. Mm. But I do know where you could find her apprentice, Naltuk. He went north of the river, chasing rumors. Rumors? Not the good kind. Sudden attacks in the snow. Strange new structures. Some say a new machine, like no one seen before. Well, now I'm definitely interested. Thanks for the talk, Burgrind. Don't mention it. I wonder if Aratok can tell me more about Araya or Thunder's Drum. Might be worth a shot.